with the people saying Graham's dead, I think they want Graham to be dead. Yeah. Like, literally, I think it's like a speak it into existence thing. Yeah. So when they're saying Graham's dead, it's sort of like, I'm not doing... Yeah, like you said, they're not living it. They're, and not, they're, not, it. they're not doing it. They're not living actually, they might be doing a bit of Graham songs or whatever, but when you're not living it and you sort of want Graham to be dead, of course you're going to say Graham's dead. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Shout to graffitikings.co.uk. Welcome, Killer Keller Podcast. Of course, we're live and direct. Central London, or as central as you need to be, should be, could be, even want to be. And yeah, to commemorate the Television app that is officially live and unlocked with a very special guest that's come through. It's also on the tune. If you have not checked the tune, Rail Rider, then you've got some serious, significant personal problems. <laughs> <laughs> the man like Lyrical Australia in the place. Trust me, How are guy. you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Walk on, walk on. I'm good. I'll tell you what, this is the second time we've done this and it's always a pleasure. Yeah, no. Always a pleasure. Every time we link up, man, we're always creating, man. Trust me. Yeah, I feel like it's super proactive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, trust me. You have to be, innit? Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, always yeah. got to be creating, man. It's in, the, it's in the creative DNA. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. For those of you that ain't aware, Lyrical Australia, Gram MC... Uh, a, a, a popular name in many a circle, you know what I mean? Yeah, South West, me. hold tight, South West crew. Yeah, trust me, West London, trust me, always. <laughs> That's the one. Trust me. Where did it begin, my brother? Because, I mean, you know, we've talked more than enough about, you know, yeah, you know, we, yeah, yeah. we know the school, but, you know, tell the people out there where it all began. Because, you know, the grime scene, it, mm. it, it, it ebbs and flows, doesn't it? Yeah, it does still. But, um, obviously, originally I was born in Ealing. And then obviously after that, I moved out to, I was in Isleworth after that. And then I moved out to Sunbury, innit? So which is near Feltham. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's bare far away. It's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? The journeys are long. Yeah. They're very long. That's all I can say, innit? Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, nice. it's, a, it's a dead area as well. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. Definitely. Because it ain't like the it's, first place I think of like grime. Nah, nah. It's a dead area, you know what I'm saying? That's why I had to move out of it. Like, when I need to create, you know what I'm saying? I've got to go out of the area, innit? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, is that a hard yeah, thing? That's is, why I travel a lot, innit? Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. Like, is that mm. a hardship? It, or would you say that adds value to what you you got a m mission and that adds to the mission? Yeah, I think. It makes you more determined because if I wasn't on it, then I wouldn't, obviously, I'd just stay in the area. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm going out, I know that I've got something to do and I'm doing something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think a lot of people can relate. I certainly could. Back in the day when I lived outside, you know, I was in more Crawley, West Sussex area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, 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 you kind of give yourself your own mission brief. Yeah, 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 basically, isn't it? Mm. You're your own boss, isn't it? No one's telling you what to do. You're just doing it of your own accord, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, trust me. Before you know it, these these actions you move, they go Create. with intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, and it creates other opportunities to yeah. do more things and whatever. Yeah, yeah. trust uh, me. For real. How did you get into the music? How did how did it all begin? Um, grime music or just music in general? Yeah, what what, what was the creative spark? Yeah. Um, I don't know, you know, because I was always into like performing sort of thing mm. so like because i can play i used to play instruments as well in it yeah there's an african instrument the marimba in it oh yeah shit. yeah it's from zimbabwe yeah, yeah. that's where i'm from in it zimbabwe. zimbabwe yeah yeah i'll yeah. tell zimbabwe crew come yeah, on trust me i'll take the zim gang trust me come trust on me. we know you're tuning in right now yeah right? yeah yeah oh, all the zimbos trust yeah. me <laughs> <laughs> all the zimbos trust <laughs> yeah but um yeah, so I used to play the marimba and whatever, and like, I don't know, I was just listening to music from a young age, man, mm -hmm. yeah. It's different music, yeah. Yeah. But grime, I'd say like, obviously, 21 Seconds, So Solid Days, Heartless Crew, like, heard it, it's on TV, innit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, man was definitely listening to that, but 21 Seconds, 100%, like. Mm -hmm. How was when that came out? How was, was you? I don't know, what, what year did it come out? Was, was it 2001 or? Bro, I think. 
I was young when it came out. I think it might have even been 04 times, but I was about mm. 10, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But I remember being in the youth club in Acton and like, you know what I'm saying? People that was, was it. 21 seconds, t -t 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 -t, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Everywhere, trust me. There's a lot of people that credit that one song mm. for changing yeah. their whole direction of career. Li literally, yeah. <laughs> because it was raw, it was literally raw, like, yeah. bare different man on the tune, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was like our answer to Wu-Tang. Yeah, basically that's what it was, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And they had the cages and whatever on the side. Yeah. It was a cold video, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Trust me, big up so solid. All day, all day. Yeah, trust me. All day. Big up Lisa Mafia, that's my girl. Hold tight, Lisa <laughs> Yeah, Mafia. trust. Um, I feel, right, I'm, I'm going to get spicy only for a little bit. My mm. feeling is, right, that when Grime came around, mm. okay, the, the, the energy, the attack, mm. it was almost like the MCs came into town. And when yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when them beats were coming out there where they were, yeah. They were almost like they they were humanized. They the the bottom end, the heaviness, mm. it added that it gave you that primal sense of fear. Mm, the character, I think it added the character. Yeah. Because obviously, I wasn't around them times, but I've through what I know mm. and through like research or whatever, it was more about the DJs before, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was more about what they're playing and whatnot, mm. and what tunes they had. Mm. So when the MC, when it became more about the MCs. Mm. Obviously, that's putting a face to the music, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think people, even me, like back in the day, I used to download tunes off LimeWire, innit? Hold tight, LimeWire. So LimeWire, you know exactly. <laughs> mash up every computer you had, yeah. literally. <laughs> Any PC, yeah. <laughs> Lime Anyone that think they got a career in music, you better hold tight with the LimeWire, crew. Exactly, <laughs> bruv. That will mash up your whole computer, <laughs> bruv. Don't save nothing on there, literally. <laughs> but yeah, LimeWire, yeah. It was literally like bare MCs on there, like P Money. Like I used to listen to his mm. tunes, yeah. Anti P Money. Mm. Used to listen to his tunes on LimeWire. Never knew what the guy looked like, bro. Mm. They used to like Chipmunk as well. Man used to listen to him when he was like um, fourteen, and he's like in the in the um, radio sets with like big man, mm. old man. You know what I'm saying? And he's mm. holding it up. He's holding it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anti Chipmunk mm. because you know what I'm saying? Because he was so, he was flagging it. He was bro, doing it from young, exactly. Mm. And um. Yeah, I was listening to them, did not know what no one looked like, innit? Mm. So you're imagining like what they look like sort mm. of. But then when the MCs come through and you can see them, you know what I'm saying? YouTube must have come out like 2005, innit? Yeah. So there you go. So you see, now you can see them. Yeah, you're put right. put a face to it, innit? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Bro, when that LimeWire thing, me and my beatboxing thing, mm. people thought I was black. <laughs> which, which, you know, because I mean? they didn't have the, they didn't. Exactly, you're imagining, innit? They're imagining. Like, yeah. Yeah, they had no. no yeah. And that's, I think that's what the beauty was with, with discovering things. It's like you, mm. you're able to create your own imagination. Mm. Especially, especially in them grime arenas, like they were yeah. like boxes. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever? I mean, I harp on about them because I do love the the rinse DVDs that you know that yeah, used yeah, to be in the box yeah, packs. Yeah. I used to love checking it because they just mm. things just so crushed. Yeah, you know, they were just in there in a sweat box like Man United. <laughs> yeah, trust me, like Man United versus Liverpool. But back in the day, that's what it was, isn't it? Like you'd have Skepta, Wiley. Yeah. All the top boys, you know yeah. what I'm saying, on the same set, and just it's swinging it out to see them all in the same room doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's when it was, you know what I'm saying. It was mm. organic, mm. you know what I'm saying. And they could do that, and there was no problems. They could, mm. like, you know what I'm saying. They could swing it out of each other yeah. basically and spud each other after. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. No problems. I wonder what the feeling was when, because you know. We did a studio session, we walk away like, yeah, that was the fucking, that was the one. Mm, yeah, yeah, Can you yeah. imagine if there was like 25 MCs in one room mm. and all of them went home afterwards, their mm. elation, the testosterone. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Especially if you held, held it up yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%, man. Sometimes... Oh, I've been there as well, man. Have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me about that. What's that feeling? Like, it's sick, but can't lie, within grime, you know, when there's 50 men on a set, yeah, you know it's stress because we were wait. All we were waiting for is your turn to get the mic in it. And when there's fifty man, your turn is literally. You know what I'm saying? All the grabbing, like you've seen it in it. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rude kid Christmas sets as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh what happens, God, yeah. bro. Like I've been there, man. Spyro, no, Spooky as well. Yeah. Spyro as well. Hold tight, hold like, tight. You know what I'm saying? Big up Spyro, That's Spooky. Right. That's right. That's but right. But yeah, Spooky had a, what was it, 50 or 30 man set of Deja once. What? That was mad. 
Oh, that great. was mad. Do you know? I don't know if you know how big Deja is, isn't it? But it was huge. Yeah. Is Hold on, what you mean? It's in like the space of it? The space 30? of it? No, 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 no it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's too small. De- Deja's deep. legit though. Like nah, that. yeah, that's like foundations. Yeah, big up Deja. Yeah, but um, that's crazy. Thirty in a room. Thirty man set. Literally, like I, I think at one point, um, was it, was it Illusion or someone come through? Illusion, yeah. I think he come through and it was like. Like he he had to part everyone like the Red Sea, bruv. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like to get to the mic, you know what I mean? Is is wild, bruv. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, in those man. situations in those battle arenas, who do you? Who, what kind of what kind of MC are you looking out for that you're like, oh shit, oh shit, he comes with them bars, oh no. Uh, I, it depends, you know, because you don't know who's coming next because the battle for the mic is so. Random, mm. like literally, five people could be fighting for the mic, mm. and then one guy could just come through when the other guy finishes the spitting and just get it, and the other five people are left there pissed. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah it's yeah. literally random. So sometimes you're just trying to hold it up yourself. Yeah. So whoever comes after you, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. Bro, it must basically. Be, yeah, no, listen, I'm thinking about it because a lot of mm. this stuff is live streamed or is generating something pre recorded from somewhere. Yeah. That must be a headache when. If I was to consider a situation like you're ready, ready with the bars, you know you can take out the next person, but then yeah. all of a sudden someone grabs the mic, yeah, they, yeah, sl- yeah. they slay it, yeah. rewind, 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 yeah. rewind, do it again, <laughs> and you're left for the deal back there. Yeah. Bro, I'm, people, most people just walk off, literally, <laughs> <laughs> literally. Most people just walk off like I've had enough. Yeah. Like literally, you could be standing there for about five MCs trying to get the mic, you know. But that's the thing, like, you have to be on it. If you're on it, mm. you'll walk up there and be like, nah, it's my time. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's what you have to do, really. It's my time. Like, I need the mic. I need to show you lot what's going on. Yeah, you, you know just got to get an extra boost and yeah, just walk yeah, yeah. over and do it. That walk over and do it, yeah. It's the survival of the fittest, isn't it? Basically, bro. Like, if, you're, if you don't do the, I need the mic now, yeah. you're not going to get on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Simple as. You don't yeah. try, you don't get. You um your your range vocally, mm. it's it's see this is what you're hearing right now mm. is very very chilled. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's calm, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That the reason for that is because he isn't touching this. Yeah. It's like the moment you get on the mic. Yeah. It's like, a, do you think a lot of that aggression is displayed be- or, or portrayed? Not portrayed. That's wrong. Is mm. is is uh, a trigger mechanism. Mm. Because of the intensity of the environment that you 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 spit in, yeah, hundred percent. Because you can't be like that all the time, innit? Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be a madman, literally. Like, like uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nah, you can't be How like that. You? All I the want time. some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucas Hyde. Like, like you're right. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not gonna work, man. Who so. though? Who is the most aggressive that is like that in the field? Like, if you were to like, if you were to bump into some, yeah, who's um, the aggressive MC? Oh uh, no. Uh, that you've I don't met? No, that I've met. Here we go. Ah, uh, I don't even know, you know. Because a lot of them are pretty lot, timid. Lot, n- yeah, no, I'd say I've seen Temper T go mad. I've seen Temper T go mad. Esca- no, what is it? Grime Originals. No, yeah, Grime Originals. Temper T went mad still. Did he? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he went mad still. Really? Like, he Hold tight, Temper T. Original nah, again. The energy, yeah. Woo. The energy in it, like. Yeah. Because, like, it's not even, like, it's the way he spits, like, yeah. it's like he's angry, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, even, it, like, he could be, he could be waving the, a moment mm. before, and he could touch my, what kind of things they have? When I, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like, like it's, Everything's gone mad. Yeah, 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 everything's gone mad. But that's what I'm saying. It gets everyone hype and, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah, yeah. I'll say temper tea still. Mm-hmm. Mm. What were the battles that got you got you off when you was gr- growing up and you saw it? What were the ones that were prominent at the time? Um, Skepta versus Devilman. Mm. Skepta versus mm. Devilman. Mm. Yeah. I See, this is for the intel, so that we can go away and fish it out. So, mm. so it's De- Devilman versus Skepta. Skepta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord of the Mics two. Right. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. No, that was that was a mad clash because yeah. the, the two different styles. Like, I can't lie, Devil Man, I was listening to him when I was like in year seven and that mm. year eight and whatever. Mm. Like, Devil Man, 
He's a different guy, you know mm. what I'm saying? The, the styles that he has, mm. no one else can do, innit? Mm -hmm. It's original, it's him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like when you were going up school, like a lot of your... I would imagine a lot of your class were into grime and that lot, right? Literally, this is the thing that like, people don't understand. Like, I don't know... Obviously now it's different, but back then, everyone was listening to grime, literally, yeah. like... The whole class, like... Mm. I'm bringing in that... Like, big up Skepta as well, because mm. I'm, like, talking... The whole class knows all of Skepta's bars. Like, we're walking through the playground <laughs> and everyone's spitting Skepta's bars. Not yeah. just, like, people who you think would listen to Graham. Yeah. I'm talking everyone. Too many, man. Too many, man. Too many. Exactly. <laughs> Them yeah. days, yeah. Ones, yeah. Literally, like, they... <laughs> yeah. Graham would have had everyone a golden, on yeah, It was lock, a golden era. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was. Because, like, even, like, like, even, like, plumber kids, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's a plumber or whatever. They was listening to Graham. Mm -hmm. Everyone, literally, man. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you said just before we we started, you were like, get beatbox mm. like Killer Keller, like with yeah, the with the Jamie me. thing. Yeah, Jamie, big up Jamie as well. Yeah, bro, man. Jamie, like when he did that, like a lot of people, you know, and this is testament to their their um the gravitation of like grime and like how mm. it influenced people back then. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. would argue it influenced more people back then than it did does now. Hundred percent. Yeah, it was a it was but, a real thing. I think it's still influencing people though, man. I think, so, I think so. 100%. But in a different way. Yeah. Drill is definitely influenced by Graham. 100%. 1000%. Because it's like... Without question. It's like... The way I see it, it's like taking something from the US and then making it UK. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the tempo they spit at and everything is Graham. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I think it still influences a lot of people. I can't lie. Mm. It's like a micro scene, isn't it? Yeah. Because... Because they used to do, they did that back in the day with rock and roll and punk. Mm. They did that with rap and hip hop. Mm. But with this, it's almost like it's like a weird sense of f feedback in a way. Because mm. you you throw grime across to them, mm. then all of a sudden they come with drill. Mm. Then they th throw it back to us. Yeah, literally. Like <laughs> no, but this this is the I'm thing. Yeah, you see, even with drill, mm. like it started off in Chicago and whatever. Yeah. Mm. Then it's come to the UK. Now adopted. the UK is influencing yeah. New York, Chicago and whatever, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, and this is the thing. I actually think that, like, sometimes we do it better than Americans. You know what I'm saying? It's got more aggression. You know, the, 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 th the Queen's dialect is yeah. a lot more harsher. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, yeah, I think it's more, it's more articulated if I can say that mm. in a way mm. because even with the grime music yeah you're spitting so fast like but you still got to make it clear so there's got to be clarity mm. in it so you can't be just like spitting the whatever because mm. otherwise people won't understand what you're saying in it yeah so like I think where, where people have done grime and because grime can like grime's not like only just like hype music like you can make chilled grime yeah. You can make bouncy grime, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So where there's, like, different types of grime, I think, like, it's a wider range of, like, even, like, your voice. You're mm. using your voice in different ways, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Whereas, like, other genres, you might just be shouting or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. Explain to me that, yeah, maybe go a little bit deeper on, on that, because as a, as, a, uh, as a historian, I'm interested, but as somebody that lives and breathes that mm, mm, mm. as a lyricist yeah explain to me how far your thoughts go in terms of that differentiation between drill and grime drill and grime um because yeah like i was saying because drill the way drill is in, was in chicago mm. it was literally like talk about what you're doing what whatever mm. the way it is here is literally talk about what you're doing so until drill can do something else like grime because grime used to be that as well wasn't it at, mm. at first it was like punch in the jaw blah 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 mm. leave you on the floor you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. it was simple it was literally just like violence or whatever but yeah. obviously it evolves over time now you can make a grime tune about anything you know what I'm saying but do you think so, that, do you think the simplicity of that happened the simplicity of those rhymes back in the day with grime mm. do you think a lot of that was because um, the, the, the beats led mm, I think it was I think it was more raw. That was the raw form of it. So mm. when it first started, obviously, it's not going to be as best as it could be sort of thing. So I think at first that was sort of like the easiest way to understand mm. it. 
But then over time, as people understand it more, you can develop it and it gets better and whatever. So I think yeah. like, yeah, I think over time it just people got better at, like you know what I'm saying. Mm. So it got it's developed from leave you on the floor punching a jaw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Although I feel like I feel like the beats back then mm. were a lot better. Yeah. And I only say that because, listen, progress happens. Mm. But, you know, with every release that Skepta does, mm. or any of that more higher tier elder statesmen, mm. they release something and they be, they're they the go-to names because they, they're, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's the, the same his, with drum and bass. History, the history, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, their, but their songs, they slowly, um, they move away from the the main ingredient. They mm-hmm. move away from the the source. Yeah, it's like it all starts to sound a bit like Americanized. Yeah, a more a- ASAP. A bit yeah. more. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Now I'm not putting words in your mouth by any stretch. That's just my opinion. You understand? Yeah. Like, um, and you know, more power to them because you know you're making making money and doing your thing. But yeah, trust me. But you know, and that, that as an and, and as an aspiring artist and for asp- asp- aspirations, mm. you need that. Yeah. But uh, I do wish they play. Uh, I, you know, if you go back to the DJs mm. and what they were playing, mm. they, they, that was the hard shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the DJs, DJs mostly always are playing the hard shit. You they, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they don't ever. But yeah. Why don't they go back to the DJ source? Why does it have to be go pop, pop, popular? Yeah, like I that? think I think once you get to a certain stage, obviously. You're more to make more money. You're gonna do things that make you more money, innit? Mm-hmm. So, I think whereas the rawness and the going back to the DJs may not make you money, they probably just don't want to do that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, innit? It might just be as simple as that. Mm-hmm. Still, but um, personally, obviously, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to the DJs. Right? <laughs> I'll go back to the rawest form. You know what I'm saying? Like. I see you throw down some heat, bro. Yeah, man. Like mm. gun tongue. Yeah. <laughs> that's exact that's how I got the name, innit? That's how I got the name, literally, man. <laughs> trust right. me. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, man. That was back in school still. Is that how it came about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In so obviously, school. yeah, I used to call myself Havoc, innit? Yeah. If anyone I don't know if anyone. With a remembers. K at the end. Havoc. Yeah, with a K, yeah, not uh, with a C, yeah. Uh, Hand tight the mob deep. Yeah. Guy, yeah <laughs> but yeah, um You know you got that call one time, eh? Hey, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. He was like, Yeah, I'll change my name, it's cool, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um yeah, so I used to be called Havoc and then some I was speaking in school and then some guy was like, um, Oh yeah, you're sick, rare, rare. He was like, Oh, your bars sound like bullets. And I was like, Rah. And he, I thought about it. I went home and I was like, Rah, my bars sound like bullets. I was like, I'm going in like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I was thinking, you know what? You know, bullet bars, you know what I'm saying? Weapon, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My tongue. Because basically, the way I see it, yeah, lyrical strally is me, innit? I am a lyrical strally because. Mm. I provide the bars and the bars come out of me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I am the lyrical strategy. It's not a thing where I'm an object, you know what I'm saying? It's me, like, you know what I'm saying? So we're... <laughs> so we're... Talking it. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, but facts. You've got, you got to talk, yeah, you got to talk the things, man. you got yeah. to talk the things. But yeah, so where I'm saying I'm lyrical strategy, like certain people are thinking, rah, uh, he thinks he's uh, he's got a gun or something, but yeah. it's not that, innit? it? Yeah. It's not that. That's it, deeper than that. It's deeper than that. I am the lyrical strategy. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, when he said that your bars are like bullets, I really thought deep about that, man. Mm. But, yeah, that's how the name came about still. It's still awesome how the scene is still thriving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I say still, still sounds like a negative, but, but mm. with all of the ebbs and flows of commercial success and... You know, mm. I feel like you're part of that next generation that is really championing the the essence, mm. the the raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying still. Because even if it's not having mainstream success, it's still alive, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because 
it goes in cycles. Like you've been you've been around long enough to know. Like mm. Grime will will go to the pinnacle. Someone will take it to the pinnacle, yeah. and then it will like I don't know if you could say it will get mainstream or whatever, but then it will sort of may go down. A bit. It doesn't mm. go. I don't think. I don't even think it goes down. You know. No, I, don't I just think. think so. I just think it sort of goes on a on a on a like constant level yeah. for a while, and then the next person will take it up. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Literally, it's just waiting for the next person to take yeah. it up. And Literally. I spoke to I spoke to Ironic about this, right? Because mm. you know he's a great he's a great ambassador for this subject. Like somebody has to create the commercial songs. Yeah. Whether it's a win or a hit, yeah, yeah or yeah. a miss, yeah, someone has to do it because mm. that's part of the the the, the world of that you you're trying to create a balance mm. within a genre, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. say, some slow, some hard, some yeah, some, exactly, yeah. If you don't have people repping that, then you're just going to mm. be stuck in the same thing forever. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like if, like, like I was saying, if grime just stuck to punch you in the jaw, leave you on the floor. Mm. None of this mainstream success would have happened. Wouldn't be you know sitting there talking, probably. Exactly, bro. Nothing to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'd probably be locked down or something. That's <laughs> what I say. You know what? And that's the same with people that give con- constructive criticism. They mm. never base it on, they never tell you, ah, oh, this is a fact based on the previous movement you made. Mm, yeah. Because had <laughs> it not been for the movement you made, I wouldn't have this egotistical constructive criticism. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know I mean? it's, it's like, get the you, fuck out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you just got something to say because you're not, yeah. I've done something, you haven't, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, yeah, like literally, like, with Grime, I think it's just, I think it, yeah, like, like I said, it just needs the next person to take it up, man. Yeah. But it will it will definitely be taken up again. I feel that because like um, even with the with the rap like UK rap like that's still about as well. That was yeah. booming at like one point in like twenty eleven. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm right. saying? That was like peak years for UK for rap. For real, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's still about. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. It kind of feels like in a way actually that that things become I mean us two talking mm. on a track mm. doing a thing with the other MCs mm. you know this is like a whole new it's a melting pot of different genres now that has a connective DNA in one strand or another yeah I've seen more and more of that happening as mm. well man I think with the UK music as well because we're all because it's a small place anyway you know mm. what I'm saying like mm. most of the sounds can blend together yeah. you know what I'm saying like you've got Garage drill tunes, drill R and B. You've got grime tunes that are like remixed funky tunes yeah. and D and B tunes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all mixed together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good. Like literally, whatever you're looking for, you can find it. You can find it. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, trust me. Brazilian funk yeah. as well. Like yeah. Yeah. Afrobeat. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, bear genres. Brazilian funk is crazy, mm. bro. We got Blanco, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Blanco. Yeah, because he's doing a madness. Uh, Ros- Roscoe mm. with the two-step. Yeah. The broken beat business. Roscoe's killing it. Like, mm. yeah, you know, you're right. And when I think mm. of P Money, like you were saying earlier, you know. Yeah, he's, he was doing the DMB crossovers as yeah, well. Yeah, he know was what doing saying? that from Because he had Dave. that flow, in it. Yeah. You the Nao. Mm. All them South boys. Mm, funky, yeah. The name with the funky. Yeah. yeah. But he's still about, though. Yeah, I know. And he does a lot of features as mm. well. Like, yeah. a lot. He's militant. Mm. You think I think that the, 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 the future, particularly with the new generation of grime, is I think there's a. They, they, they're, and through social situations that we're going through at the moment, mm. I guess there's a commonality where you've got to be like, okay, right, there ain't no money in this right now, mm. but this is about. The athleticism of it. This yeah. is the competition. This is where we go back to the roots, because you're you're creating a you're reconditioning an audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like we sort of got to start again. Sort yeah, it's of, or go back happening. to the roots to yeah. bring it back up. Yeah, but I feel like you and your generation are already doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's. I mean, they better hold on to their tables, the seats on the table. Cause it's, <laughs> Literally, that's what I'm saying. Because you see, when the next rise up comes, yeah. if you haven't been putting in your work and whatever, yeah. you're not going to be part of that. Yeah, or at Literally. least bringing the younguns up as well. If mm. You've not been bringing the exactly. next generation. Up. Exactly. If you've not been bringing people through, mm. then you know what I'm saying. You're going to be like because everything goes in cycles as well. There's people that were 
up here like two, three years ago, hmm. slowly there, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. It's sort of coming down to a to that constant level. Yeah. And then there'll be someone else who's start who's come up is literally like just starting now. Hmm. And they'll be going above that person, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Hmm. So your constant level needs to be a good constant level, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I do feel that with the grime. I love the lyrics. I love the the work on lyricism and lyrics and mm. and quality output and just just yeah, just the theatre of it all. No, now like the levels are so high, like mad. I think the f- the thing that's going on now is like there's competition between bare people, mm. and that that competition is making people like get a lot better. Trust yeah. me. A lot better, but because they're doing it in what you're there is in there, they're in ciphers the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Things yeah. are happening online. You know what I'm saying? I can't yeah. keep up with it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's mad still. <laughs> it's mad. There's bare radio stations, trust me. Yeah, and then just like people just showing up. I can't believe it. Like mm, and secret link ups as well. Mm. Secret link ups, man. That's like cold. you could literally have a birthday party and, and you'll it find off. like five MCs or whatever yeah. ones. Yeah, someone Someone spits a bar, you know what I'm saying? I see that on people's Insta stories. Mm, like, that's what I'm saying. I've seen it. That? Like, where's that? Like, some red room or something, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and so, someone's got the decks over there. <laughs> I couldn't, it's yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, like, literally, birthday parties. I've been to, like, <laughs> I've been to, bruv, I went performing in Bristol one time, and we done the rave, and then after, like, someone's been like, yeah, we're having a house party. Like, oh, come through. We've come through to the house party. They've got decks and whatever. Oh. They've thrown on a couple grime rhythms, yeah? And it's on. Bro. Really? No, nah, we shut down the party, man. No. Nah. Like, there was, like, people from the rave come to this party, innit? That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. That's exactly, it. bruv. Exactly. So, they come back to this party. They was like, oh, yeah, spit a bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays, people might be like, oh... Nah, nah, I only did it for money, rare, rare, rare. But you see that moment there, yeah? You're with your fans, yeah? Yeah. They haven't had to pay for that. Timeless. You know what I'm saying? That's going to stick in their heads yeah. for like probably ever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well give them that moment, That's man. It's saying. not always about money. That's what I'm saying. And it's, it's classic about, old it's school about moves. living. Classic old school moves. Mm. That's exactly the way it should be. Mm. Trust me. About living. More intimate, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah we, we literally like spat a couple bars. Literally got a wheel. It was like a wheel up every five seconds. Ever, ah, you know what I'm saying? Madness. I would have just done me in. Yeah, Bristol just... is lit as well, yeah, man. Bristol is Trust all... me. Bristol, Birmingham, whole type Birmingham. Mm. Can't remember going sidewinder and all that. Yeah. Oh my god, those days. Yeah. That was some scary shit back then. <laughs> No, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard. Still, oh, I remember hiding behind his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm staying here. Yeah. <laughs> And then I remember seeing, I remember seeing D double jump out. D double, man. Yeah, no, legend. 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 Yeah, trust me. Legend. He's one of them ones. It, it falls in line with Jammer and uh, Dizzy and, and Wiley and, you know, the, these, mm. these, these these kind of gatekeepers. But uh, unquestionable uniqueness. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, from day one. You, you, you know it's yeah. him. Birds in the sky, colours. Yeah. Yeah, literally, man. Ikea adverts. Well, there's D double. Yeah, oh, Ikea, you know. Yeah. Ikea, you know. That's a landmark Big Ikea, thing. Ikea, trust yeah. me. And the, the thing is, Good I'm, for him. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. I've seen people get opportunities and whatever, mm. and it looks like it looks like it wasn't planned by them or they had no input. It looks like someone's just told them, oh, this will look good. Mm. And they've just done it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that advert there, yeah, like it was on point. Mm. Like he was spitting his bars, and it was, you know what I'm saying? Like all the, I'm um, sorry, all the things. What was it? All the toys and that were like talking his bars and whatever. Nah, so that was sick. sick. Trust me, that's what I'm saying. Delivery wise, with because that you know D Double is a really good example of that. Mm. There is a real, it's and I've done it before because when I beatbox with Grime, mm. there's a certain head I have to put on because you guys you lay yeah yeah hard yeah. on them. Yeah, it's fast, isn't it? It's, Trust yeah, exa- that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. fast, but it's laid, so it's like. Mm. All I do in my head is I just keep count. <laughs> <laughs> keep count, boy. Keep yeah. count. Because it's really hard. Yeah. If you're, you're not... Going, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could have a bit of do if I was drunk. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Too many words going through your head, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because you'll... <laughs> yeah, but yeah, because you'll, you'll flip the the timing of it yeah. and it'll land at the right place again and you're just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some, you know what I mean? Trust me, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not easy. No. And that was a great example. D-Double, he's a bit of a king at doing that. Mm. Does that and switching up the flow as well. Switching yeah. up the flow, 
No. What was your thoughts when you saw uh, Stormzy at Glastonbury? Stormzy at Glaston? Yeah. No, that's a good move, it's man. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, trust me. Oh, I was goosebumps all the way through, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was sick, man. Yeah, yeah no, um, what's, what did he... He's wearing that um, vest from um, Banksy or something yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Madness. It's when culture Madness. came together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was sick still. Yeah, he's he's on the big stage. He represents, man. He does represent. Yeah, trust me, man. Richly deserved. He's a great example of like mm. what generations see now and can be like, yo, I can achieve that. Yeah, no, literally, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think Grimes literally just waiting for the next Stormzy. Literally, yeah. like, so whoever that is, yeah. is gonna be. Uh, and this is the thing, yeah. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but over the years, like obviously people have gone up and they've um, taken off from Grime. But every time it happens and the person that takes off, it always gets bigger and bigger. So one person will take off and you'll think, all right, mm. like, like Tinchy Strider back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Something like that, yeah? You'll think, right, he's, he's massive, like he's on Celebrity Juice and all kinds of things, yeah? And yeah. then the next person takes off and then they've taken it to a next level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Skepto or someone, like, he's got his own Nike shoes and that. Mm. Madness, madness. You, know what I'm you just couldn't even fathom it. I know no, what you mean. And they look sick as well. You know what I'm yeah. saying. So, and then after that, you got Stormzy. You know what I'm saying. So the one after Stormzy is going to be even bigger. You know what I'm saying. So, brother, this is what I'm saying. When people say Graham's dead, yeah, it's like no, it just changes, doesn't it? It just changes. And That's this the is thing. the thing. When the next person is going to be bigger than that, yeah. Mm. How could you say Graham's dead? It, Graham's literally about to evolve. I st- look, I stand by what I said at the start. How can mm. something be dead when it's morphing? Like, how can it change? Yeah, it, exactly. How can it change if it's it stays evolving. the same thing? It it's evolving, to. yeah. Yeah. So you're going to see, trust me, trust yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, totally. Everyone will see. And like like we were saying, you know, the commerciality of it, it's, it's designed to inspire. It's designed to allow mm. younger kids mm. who grew up in the same way as their heroes did Mm. Give them an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, following their footsteps, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this is the thing for the people. The people that say good grime is dead, mm. they ain't the people that are living it. Exactly. You know what? One second. Let me just. Have yeah. Oh, yeah. huh, let him take a fucking <laughs> breath, would you? It's going down in here. Yeah, trust me. Um, with the people saying grime's dead, I think they want grime to be dead. Yeah. Like, literally, I think it's like a speak it into existence thing. Yeah. So when they're saying Graham's dead, it's sort of like, I'm not doing... Yeah, like you said, they're not living it. They're, and not, they're, living not, it. they're not doing it. They're not living they're, it. Actually, they might be doing a bit of Graham songs or whatever, but when you're not living it and you sort of want Graham to be dead, of course you're going to say Graham's mm. dead. Because, like, you don't want other people to make it from Graham. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think and there's a deeper issue with that as well. Exactly. That's a, Exactly. That is a deeper issue. So... Yeah, there's always going to be people who don't like certain things anyway, man. They're going to wish Grime them. came back when, when this lockdown reopens. <laughs> exactly. Because I'll tell you, man, everyone's going to be jumping those, on that mic. Those <laughs> raves, oh my God. I don't even want to know what's going to happen, man. Oh, it's going to be I clear. Don't even wanna know. Yeah. And I just think, you know, all the all the content that went out online has been killing it on the live mm. streams of those battles and everything. Mm. You imagine, you're going to have that world and mm. then you're going to have the live arena. Yeah, exactly. No, that's going to be... It's going to be the best of both worlds, literally. It's going to be the best. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be the best. No, it's going to be mad still. My brother, mm. it's been a fucking pleasure. No, it has been, <laughs> oh, man. G. Trust me. Anytime, G. <laughs> you know it. Anytime, bro. We always do it right. It's laser German. If you don't know about Lyrical Australia, you do now. And for those of you that do, you know a little bit more, all right? Keep Trust it grimy me. over here. Big shout out to all the regulars. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring, right? Big shout out, Australia. I'll yeah, try. trust me. Anti Killer Keller. <laughs> El Australia, yeah. That's Trust true. me, follow me mm. on Twitter, Instagram, all the socials, innit? Lyrical underscore Strally. That's right. And man's got Sunday, Monday freestyles for you every Sunday. Ooh, Wait, you this. Exactly. Soon we're going to have me and a killer Come on. beatbox Sunday, Monday. You know what I'm saying? Let's get ready. We're you know what I'm saying? Exactly so, what we're doing afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Right, we'll keep that on the hush. Yeah, on the, on the, on the, on the, on the. But yeah, but El Strally, trust me. And one more thing, Time Traveller 2 is out soon as well. Woo! Trust me. Breaking EP, up. my band camp, innit? Lyricalstrally.bandcamp.com. Lyricalstrally.bandcamp. Get involved, all right? Original rail rider inside the place. One Trust of many. me. Hold tight. Get a care podcast out like anyone's out of fashion. Stay lucky, people. Peace. <laughs> that was a good one.